Do you want to know why you should embrace pain and suffering? Hi, Roman Fisher. If you're already not subscribed to this channel, then please do so, and then tap the notification bell so you'll never miss a single video. Yeah! <laughs> Look, a lot of people go through pain and suffering. Everybody, and I mean everybody, is destined to go through pain and suffering. What I don't understand, though, is why people never embrace their pain and suffering. Okay, you're probably thinking, I'm nuts, I'm crazy, but really I'm not. And I'll show you how I'm not crazy for saying that. The thing is, people go through suffering, but that doesn't mean you can't embrace it. And you might be wondering, why should you embrace pain and suffering? It doesn't make any sense. And on the surface, it doesn't. On the surface, it makes no sense. I'll agree, I'll level with you. Pain and suffering, it sucks. But if you embrace it, it's good. And there's a good few reasons why it's good. <laughs> so here they are. The first reason is because it makes you a stronger person. Okay, maybe not physically stronger, but it makes you stronger. It just makes you stronger, emotionally, mentally, stuff like that. You see, personally, I've had friends, or I should probably say former friends, that screwed me over. And it really sucked, because these people, I trusted. I really trusted, because they were my friends. They, they were my best friends. We were tight. It was so stupid, because they just dropped me. They dropped me, like I was nothing. They dropped me, and stopped talking to me, as if they never knew me. And it's like, are you kidding me? Like, really? Come on now, that's just not right. That's not how you should treat people, especially your close friends. But guess what, they did it anyway, and it was painful. I was suffering, I mean, I wasn't suffering like I was not gonna die, but I was suffering in the sense that it just sucked and it really weighed me down emotionally. That's how I was suffering, and that's how it was painful. But I learned from that, and I was like, it's actually not a bad thing. It made me stronger inside. And in here. And that's the thing. Be grateful for all that. Be thankful. Like losing those friends, it actually made me stronger in the long run. Like in the short term, it, it really didn't seem to. It seemed to really hurt me, if anything. But in the long run, it helped me. It helped me become stronger because I realized I don't really need these people in my life. I don't need them. They're unnecessary. There's always other people to hang out with. There's always other people to talk to. And I just became a stronger person thanks to that experience. The second reason is because it helps you appreciate the calm. It helps you appreciate when things aren't going bad. If things never went wrong, you would never appreciate the things that are going right because they would always be going right. You would become so used to it. So that's the glory of when things go bad. For example, let's say you have a pet that you really loved, but it passed away, it died. That would really suck, and it would really hurt you. But the good thing is, you can always get a new dog, and when you get a new dog that you would really like and become attached to, then you would start really appreciating it a lot more. And the reason being is because you lost that dog that you really liked, but now you have another one to fill that, to fill that void, and you appreciate it because it was able to do that. It's just that simple. The third reason is because it helps you become an overcomer. It helps you, once again, overcome any hurdle that you have. They call problems hurdles because you can hurdle over them. That's why they call them hurdles. So don't let anything get in your way. You got this. You can do this. Do you remember how many problems you dealt with? Do you remember how many of them you solved? <laughs> exactly. You are an overcomer. And yet again, you can be an overcomer. Don't let problems prevent you from solving. There are no problems, only solutions. Remember that. It's just a brilliant quote by a brilliant guy. There's yet another example I have for you. And it's in my past life. You know, I used to play soccer and I lost a game with my team and I was supposed to win, but all these people on my team got super mad at me because I didn't give them that win. And I was like, whoa, okay, 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 uh, yeah. And really, I just didn't feel confident within myself. I didn't feel confident about myself after that. I was just feeling like a loser. I was like, Man, this sucks. It's just really, really, really sucks. That was one example where I felt like a loser, where I felt like problems just ran over me, where I felt like I was defeated, where I felt like I couldn't rise above, where I felt like I couldn't rise up. But guess what? I did. So for the next game, I proved that I could win. I proved that I could be an overcomer. And that's just it. With every problem, there's a solution, once again. Just because there's a problem doesn't mean you can't solve it. It might sound weird, but again, 
Those are three really good reasons on why I think you should embrace your pain and suffering. If you enjoyed today's video, then please drop a like. Please drop a like. I kindly appreciate it. Please share to anybody and everybody on why they should embrace their pain and suffering. And please subscribe to get informed, get inspired, and to get loving.